In this video, we're going to go over the example problem from the module uh, stated here. If the current world population is 7.8 billion and the population growth rate is 1.1% per year, estimate what the population will be in 2025. So if you haven't already, please pause the video and try to work this out yourself before continuing. The given information here is our initial population, let's call that P1, our starting population is 7.8 billion. And our rate of change, R, is 1.1% per year. So what we can do is we know what the population is in this year, 2020. And we can use that information to calculate what our population will be in 2021. So our population in year 2021 is going to be equal to our population now, P2020, plus the population in 2020 times our rate of change, where R is going to be 0.011. So I can calculate P2021. It's going to be 7.8 billion plus 7.8 times 0 0.011, which gives me a population projection in 2021 is equal to 7.8858 billion. I can then use this information in year 2021 to estimate what the population will be in 2022. So that's going to look like a very similar equation. 20 population in 2022 is equal to the population in 2021 plus the population in 2021 times r. So here, if we plug this all in, we have our 7.8858 plus 7.8858 times 0 0.011. So we get a population in 2021 to be 7.97 billion. And we could continue doing this for every year until we get to 2025. So let's write this out as a table where we have the year in one column and our population in the next column. So 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025. And our population, we started at 7.8. Then we calculated our next population was 7.89 then 7.97, and then we can continue calculating. So I will use the information in year 2022 to calculate the population in 2023 to be 8.06. I will use the information in year 2023 to calculate the population in 2024. It's going to be 8.15 billion. And lastly, I will use the information in year 2024 to calculate the population in year 2025 to be 8.24 billion. So essentially what I've done is I'm using the current value or using the current value of P, the population, to get the next value of P. And not just the current value of P, but also the rate of change of P. 
So using the current value of P and the rate of change of P to get the next value of P. So P I plus one is equal to the population at time I plus the population of time at time I times R, the rate of change, which that is R derivative there. Now when I say this is our derivative, what I mean is that we can write an equation for the derivative dp dt, so the change in population over a certain amount of time is going to be r times p at some time. This is a differential equation. And if you've taken the class on differential equations, you might know that the exact solution to this differential equation is P is equal to our initial population times E to the R T. So we could calculate population at 2025 using this equation. But we were able to solve for the population at year 2025 without knowing the exact solution. And that's because what we did was using explicit Euler method, or we used numerical methods to solve this differential equation. Which is what we are going to do in this class. So we will never have to solve for the exact solution of a differential equation in this class. I will always give you the exact solution so that you can compare your numerical solution to it. And we're going to use always going to use numerical methods to solve our differential equations. So we've taken this differential equation dp dt is equal to rp and what we've done is we've taken this continuous equation and we've made it discrete by evaluating it at certain points. So I can use the forward difference to discretize my derivative. So I have p i plus 1 minus p at i divided by, I have t i plus 1 minus t of i is equal to r. And in this example, we were using times p at i. And if I rearrange this, knowing that my time step t i plus 1 minus t of i is equal to 1 year, I get the equation that I wrote above, where p i plus 1 is equal to p of i plus r times p of i. And this is how we are going to numerically solve our differential equations. This method specifically is called the explicit Euler method. In the module, or in this module, we'll go through several other methods of solving differential equations, but one of the most popular ones here is the explicit Euler method.